American Festival for the Arts, or AFA, is Houston's largest nonprofit provider of music education programs for young people. For 20 years, the AFA Composition Department has had a partnership with the Houston Ballet Academy known as the Composer-Choreographer Collaboration. AFA's young composers and the young choreographers from the Academy's Summer Intensive Program come together to discuss their mutual interest and types of works that they would like to create. Faculty members from both organizations pair the students. The process continues as the composers go back to the AFA campus and begin work on the music that will be part of the collaboration. The young choreographers learn who their cast will be, decide what kinds of costumes they will use, determine lighting and makeup, and ultimately they begin the rehearsal process with the music once they receive it from the composers. One week before the AFA premieres, choreographers show their pieces to the Academy's artistic staff and receive feedback on the technical aspects of their works. After the AFA premiere, choreographers have an additional few weeks to finalize their works before they are presented at the Summer Intensive Program's final performances. My piece titled Lost in Emotion is supposed to reflect one of those days I know we've all had where it starts out and you're happy and everyone around you is happy. Then one thing happens and your complete mood just changes. I wanted to do something that kind of resembled flying in a way. I collaborated with CJ and in the meeting with the composers, I heard CJ's music and I really liked it. The music kind of comes to me. So uh, I may be just sitting at the piano practicing and a melody will come into my head. I will never be looking for the music, you know, the music kind of finds me. I liked how it was fast and how he said that he was going to make parts of it slow and I really thought that was interesting. He came here three times. The first two he came just to play me some music so we could listen to it before the final draft. Writing of the music is a lot like writing an essay. Sometimes you'll get stuck, sometimes you'll just blast through with all these ideas and it was really great to have her opinion more than anything. I started improving on my own and just working with the music that I was given at the time. When I got my dancers, I showed them what I had already choreographed, and then we adjusted for them, and I just moved on from there. I learned to stay calm and not to get too freaked out. As long as it's what you wanted it to be, it's part of you. So let me invite up our first uh, collaborative pair. We have uh, CJ and Candace. Come on up. There we go. Uh, okay, so CJ, we'll start with you. Your piece is called, uh, first of all, just tell us uh, your name, uh, how old you are, and where you go to school. Hello, I'm CJ Gilmore. I'm 16 years old, and I go to high school for the Performing Visual Arts and Classical Piano. Great. Yeah. Hey, just PBA. There you go. <laughs> um, so tell us about your piece. It's titled uh, Sights in Japan. Yeah, uh, uh, two things I'm really interested in. I really like impressionistic music, and I really like Japanese culture. And I want to put both of these in my piece, and I kind of structured it that way, kind of like Mazorsky's Pictures at an Exhibition. It's supposed to be like an audio tour. So the first section is a busy street in Tokyo, and the second section is a shrine in Kyoto. And in the second section, I really want to bring out the lush qualities of Debussy and Ravel in my music. And I want to make it really monolical and quick in the first section. Wonderful, thank you. And tell us your name, how old you are, and uh, where you're from. Hi, my name is Candace Pettingill. I am 15 years old and I'm from Mesa, Arizona. Great, and how long have you been dancing and how long have you been choreographing? I've been dancing since I was three, year old, three years old, but this is my first time choreographing. Congratulations. Uh, so tell us a little bit. <laughs> So tell us a little bit. Uh, now you took uh, CJ's piece, Sites in Japan, and you titled your ballet Lost in Emotion. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, I wanted to show one of those days I know we've all had where everything is perfect and you're happy and everyone around you is happy. And then all of a sudden one thing happens and your mood just completely changes and you feel lost and empty in a way. And I feel like everyone around you is still happy and they're still living, like, living their lives and you kind of have to deal with it and try to move past it. Great, well congratulations to you both on your world premiere ballet. Thank
So uh, let me ask uh, CJ and Candice to come on up. Welcome, guys. All right, uh, CJ, I'll start with you. Can you tell us uh, your name, your age, and where you go to school? Hi, my name is CJ Gilmore. I'm 16 years old, and I go to HSPVA High School for the Performing and Visual Arts for classical piano. Well, a lot of HSPVA love in here. That's great. <laughs> Uh, and Candace, tell us just a little bit about yourself. Um, how old you are, uh, where you're from, and uh, how long you've been dancing? Um, I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Mesa, Arizona. I've been dancing since I'm, I was three years old, but it's my first time choreographing on anything, anyone. Wonderful, congratulations. Uh, so CJ, back to you. Your piece is called Sights in Japan. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I really wanted to structure my piece after pictures at an exhibition by Mussorgsky. So I'm really interested in Japanese culture, so I wanted to make kind of an audio tour around Japan. So it's kind of styled in two movements. So the first movement is Tokyo, and you're down a busy street. So there are a lot of fast passages, a lot of fast melodical moments. And then the second part is really where I want to explore my impressionistic side, where like things sound more like Debussy and Ravel, and you're supposed to be at a shrine, and it's supposed to be really meditative in Kyoto. Wonderful. And Candice, uh, you titled your ballet Lost in Emotion. Can you tell us a little about that? I wanted to show one of those days I know we've all had where it starts off and you're happy and everyone around you seems happy and then all of a sudden one thing happens and you're just in a completely different mood and you feel lost and empty in a way. Wonderful. Congratulations guys on your world premiere.